morning in the United States, good afternoon in Morocco, and good evening in India. Amazing differences in time zones. Uh, warm greetings to you all, distinguished participants and attendees who have decided to register and to be with us in this third episode of the International E-Seminars on Contemporary Issues in Media and Information Literacy. So as you can see, we have the privilege and honor to have eminent speakers. Uh, brain, uh, Dr. Uh, Fatiha El Hilali, Hello. who is specialist in, immune, uh, in the immune system, will give us more details about the immunity and how to strengthen our immunity and how can this immunity protect us from COVID-19. Happy and pleased to have you with us, Dr. Fatiha El Hilali. Uh, we are eager to listen to you. The floor is yours. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very happy to be here with you today, participating in this uh, important uh, uh, event. Uh, never has there been more focus on uh, the value of health and uh, our immune system than this uh, in this period of the pandemic. So I'm going to talk about what we need to know about our extraordinary immune system and the COVID-19. So what exactly is immunology? Uh, it's the study of our immune system, including our physical, chemical, bio biological reaction uh, of the organism against the foreign substances. So it clarifies how our immune system protects mm -hmm. our body uh, from the ill effects uh, of inflammation, infection and cancers. Uh, so there is still so much uh, that uh, uh, scientists don't know about uh, optimal immune responses. Uh, and if there is one thing we know for sure is that if our immune system fails, it, uh, it can result in acute and chronic allergy development, progression and spreading of cancer autoimmune diseases and aggressive progression of cardiovascular neurodegenerative conditions such as Alzheimer. So immune responses uh, is uh, triggered by antigen. What is antigen? It's a substance, usually protein in nature or sometimes uh, poly, uh, polysaccharide that generates a specific immune responses inducing the formation of a specific antibody or specially sensitized T cells. So our immune system is very complex at different levels. Uh, it's, uh, include, it's including organs, spleen, lacrimal gland, uh, tissues, lymphatic bone marrow, uh, cells, white blood cells, macrophages, kaffir, microglia, subcellular T lymphocytes, B lymphocytes, T rex cells, fluidic, lymph fluid, plasma, humoral, uh, complement cascade and cytokine. So uh, self and non-self discrimination is the crucial function of our immune system. So what's a self is the body's own cells and non-self is foreign or abnormal cells like bacteria, viruses or cancers, cell cancer. So uh, all nucleated cells of uh, our body possess a unique and distinctive human leukocyte antigen, which is called HLA. Uh, they are protein that are unique to each individual organism. So they are involved in self non self discrimination in a different way. Uh, they are surface molecules that identify it as self. So the self markers function as identification tags. 
So HLA is very diverse. Uh, it contains 2,200 uh, genes, more than 5,000 different alleles, and 7 million base pairs. Uh, we can uh, uh, we can say that all creates donate donator. So uh, HLA, uh, the most uh, important uh, function of HLA is in induction regulation of immune uh, responses and selection of the cell repertoire. So we can say that HLA is nearly unique. So the immune responses is new, nearly unique and each individual's immune system is also nearly unique. So what about HLA diversity and COVID-19? Uh, so HLA Ali are critical component of viral antigen presentation pathway. So it's uh, one significant factor modulating resistance and susceptibility to viral infection. So HLA polymorphism uh, results from a set of amino acid in uh, uh, in uh, binding, epitope binding uh, uh, sites and T cells presentation. So we can say that genetic vari variability in HLA allele might influence the immune responses in patients with COVID-19 modulating disease severity. So uh, uh, COVID-19 immune responses could be adverse or protective. So we can uh, give an example of, uh, of HLA diversity, the patient with uh, positive with positive HLA DRB1, uh, those patients uh, had have a good or better immune system. They overcome infection like salmonella and cholera and had advantage in evolution. But those people uh, develop severe COVID. So we can liken this, uh, this aggressive immune system to two cars. Uh, one car which uh, is driving at 30 kilometers per hour uh, mm -hmm. and uh, a car which is driving slowly. As for the Ferrari, the crash could be fatal, and uh, but the Fiat that goes slowly will easily return to its way after the crash. So people with HLA DRB1 got an aggressive immune system. The R2 type of immunity, innate immunity, which is non specific, responses are the same for all pathogens, uh, ready to go first line of defense, no memory, and including physical barriers like skin or cells like macrof macrophages or neutrophil. The adaptive uh, immunity is uh, the second line of defense, is very specific to the pathogen, but building memory of encountered infection, including B cells, which um, makes Y-shaped protein called antibody and T cells, uh, helper and killer T cells. So this micrograph showed the damage occurred by antibody on E. coli. So that's B cells which producing antibody. So uh, one of the uh, more hallmarks uh, properties of immune system are the memory cell. So uh, me uh, immune system has the ability to remember past exposure to pathogen. So it's uh, 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 memory cells got some properties like long lifespan, high sensitivity, quick and robust proliferation, and high affinity antibodies. 
So what's the application of immunology? It's uh, surely a uh, vaccine. Vaccine contain antigen that trigger immunity but do not cause the disease. So upon re-exposure to the same antigen, memory cells will trigger a faster and stronger immune response. So when the immune system gets sick, people could get autoimmune disease, cancer, asthma, and allergies. So what's autoimmune disease? Uh, when the immune system can't tell the difference, uh, difference between your own cells and foreign cells. So immune system, make a mistake and attack the normal cells. Example, uh, rheumatoid arthritis, immune system attack our joint, uh, type 1 diabetes, immune system attack pancreas, on lupus, immune system attack the joints, lungs, blood cells, nerves and kidneys, multiple sclerosis, immune system attack the nerve cell and Crohn disease, the lining of intestine, and Hashimoto disease, immune system attack the thyroid gland. So in uh, asthma and allergies, which uh, are a hyper responsiveness of the innate immune system, uh, you, uh, it's uh, they are occurred when the immune system develops an exaggerating, exaggerated immune response with some uh, specialized cell like mast cell, microphage, and eosinophil. Uh, cancer also when the immune uh, immune system gets sick. Uh, cancer is caused by changes uh, like mutation to the DNA uh, within the cells. Uh, so the question is why immune system couldn't fight cancer or attack cancer cells? Uh, uh, why? Because the cancer is, esca is escaping the immune system by avo avoiding avoiding the immune recognition and uh, uh, inactivating immune cells but producing some molecules that make them stop working like pdl one or changing their local environment so it's become a hostile place for immune cells to work by secretion of suppressive molecules like uh, IL-10, TGF beta, and prostaglandin A2. So what's the immunotherapy? It's a kind of upscaling our immune cells. It's a treatment that uses a person's own immune system to fight cancer. Uh, that uh, it can boost or change how, the way how our immune system works so uh, it can find an attack cancer. Uh, Nobel Prize uh, on uh, 20, uh, 2018 was awarded uh, for a checkpoint, a checkpoint inhibitor discovery. So it was Epimulab and Nivolumab. So also immune system could get cancer, uh, including lymphomas and leukemias. So what infections disease are disorder caused by organisms such as bacteria, viruses, fungi, parasites, uh, so like SARS-CoV is a virus, and many organisms uh, live in or on our body, they're normally harmless or even helpful, but under certain conditions some organisms may cause disease and death. So uh, COVID uh, transmission, uh, in general, uh, transmission uh, could be from a person to a person by insects, animals, food, water, or organism in the environment. And uh, mod uh, SARS-CoV is transmitted with respiratory droplets and aerosol. 
Uh, symptom of uh, infections uh, very depending the organism causing the infection often include fever and fatigue, uh, but there are some mild infection and uh, serious infection that needs hospitalization. So for uh, COVID-19, uh, the spectrum is uh, is uh, large. Uh, we can uh, uh, start from asymptomatic uh, infection, mild illnesses, uh, moderate, severe, and critical, and long COVID-19. So who is at high risk from coronavirus being aged more than 65, cardiovascular disease, obesity, cancer, diabetes, chronic kidney, and being pregnant, smoker, and recipient of transplants. And we should not forget about HLA, the important determinant of disease severity. So now uh, immunologists are sure that everything is infectious until proven otherwise. So infection uh, could cause cancers, infectious disease, chronic diseases, and autoimmune disease. So uh, how is our immune system nowadays? Uh, are we at risk? Uh, there is one forty hundred thousand chemical on the market, industrial, agriculture, modern lifestyle, wireless technology, medicine, imaging technology. Uh, so uh, like 20 scan radiation, it's uh, equivalent to Hiroshima atomic bomb survivor. So uh, what about uh, the, um, the immunotoxicity and our immune system? There are many consequences like immunosuppression, hypersensitivity, and some autoimmunity like Asia, which is uh, autoimmune syndrome induced by adjuvants like uh, silicon. So today we are living with the too many chemicals, infections, stress, inadequate sleep, obesity, poor diet, lack of uh, uh, physical activity, and that could uh, affect uh, our immunity. So what uh, we can do, we should first avoid infection, washing your hand frequently, cooking meats, don't smoke, don't drink uh, alcohol, eat a diet high in fruit and vegetables, eat some herbal medicine, great teas and nuts, uh, exercise outdoor regular, regularly and maintain a healthy weight, uh, get uh, enough sleep and try to minimize stress. And thank you so much. Thank you very much, Dr. Fatiha El Hilali, uh, for this uh, highly informative.